Hello there, it's Mario here. Hope you're doing well, hope you're crushing it and making some really, really good gains. In this video, I decided to share with you some forgotten workout footage that I filmed back when I was in Mexico and do a little voiceover to answer a question that I've been getting a lot recently as guys notice that I'm traveling and the question is, how would I set up a bare bones, minimalist workout for someone who is going through a stressful phase in their life? Maybe they're traveling or maybe they're uh, involved in some kind of uh, very intense project at work and do not have the time to do the four to six days a week in the gym for about an hour to two hours in some cases. You know, how would you be able to get decent results, maintain your muscle mass, maybe even build some muscle mass, maybe even increase strength, but not train four to six days, maybe just two to three times in a week. Now, it's a very good question because I know just, just judging by my own personal experience and just looking at my clients is that throughout the year, we have certain uh, phases, we have ups and downs in terms of focus and what area of life we do invest our effort in. And that's something that is to be expected. And we are kind of juggling all these things at once, relationships, business, training, and all of that. So having some kind of plan B that you can execute and you can still get decent results, it's very, very important. Now, how would I set up this plan? Well, the basics when we're looking at the research were the workout volume, the training volume, sets, times, reps, times, weight is the driver of hypertrophy, right? That's what we're looking at. So if the goal is hypertrophy, you want to look at volume first and volume somewhere in that decent intensity, maybe between 65 to 90 percent. Now, if you're looking at a it's kind of a sweet spot for maximizing results with less time, you're looking at a rep range between 10 to 15 because you do not have the time to rest to get the volume with those heavy loads with lower reps. So most of the work in this training plan, a bare bones minimalist plan, would be between 10 to 15 reps. And also what would be is that you would be training close to failure and even going to failure for the most part. Now, how many exercises? Well, I would say a push pull or let's say a full body would be a really good option. If you can only do two to three days a week, that would essentially be a full body session each time. And now how would I include this? Well, it would be one lower body dominant movement, let's say a squat, then you would do one pressing movement and one pulling movement, let's say a bench press on one day. And then uh, let's say on that day, you would combine that with a barbell row. The next day you would do, let's say a pull up or a chin up and then combine that with an overhead press, right? So on the second day for lower body, you might start that off with a Romanian deadlift. Now, one important factor here is that you don't necessarily have to do the squat or the RDL or the bench press or any other movement that has huge logistical setups to do. So that will be kind of your basic first three lifts in an exercise plan and then you would combine isolation movements on top of that. But for those big compound lifts, the issue can often be logistics. You know, the squat rack is taken, the remaining deadlift weights are not there. You know, it, it's a little bit difficult. So you could replace that, let's say, with just doing a machine leg press, the one that you can just pin and you just select the weights that's very, very fast. For the bench press, you might do a plate loaded machine press or things like that that will save you additional time that you can then use to get more volume for the overall uh, day. And that's very, very important. And at, as well at the same time, what you're looking at is that you want to do um, not just a single set, but you want to do at least two sets for these big movements. Like we know that multiple sets trump single sets. I mean, James Krieger has done a really good review on this, and I'm going to leave that in the description below. We know that. I mean, about 50, 60 percent more results from just doing multiple sets instead of a single set for an exercise. However, I mean, if you take a single set to failure, you're still getting a decent chunk of gains. So those uh, people that want to eke out all the gains, you of course want to do multiple sets. I mean, three to four sets per movement. Now, if we look at the overall setup, I would say for those first three lifts, which would be a lower body dominant movement, which is either a squat or an RDL or some alternative to those, then you would follow that up with a push and pull movement. For these, I would choose two sets each. So first set, you would not go to failure. Second set, you would go to failure, right? Then you would follow that up with, let's say, three isolation movements for the highest priority muscle groups that you have. Let's say on the first day, you would follow that up with some um, basic shoulder isolation, maybe some uh, tricep, bicep, maybe uh, uh, some kind of lateral movement, or let's say you wanna focus your hamstrings, you wanna focus your calves. Sure, you can go for that. Uh, depends on what your priority is. But in essence, you want to make sure that for those isolation movements that you're doing one set to failure or maximum two sets, and if you are doing two sets, 
minimize the rest between the sets. You can organize them in a circuit fashion, so you just go one exercise, second exercise, third exercise, and then repeat the whole circuit. That would minimize the amount of rest that you need between, because when you're doing the bicep, the tricep would be resting, similarly for the shoulders. Now, another good technique that you could use here is called myo reps. So you can pick a weight, let's say you can do it for 15 reps to failure, then once you hit failure, you would just take a couple of breaths and then do those um, additional reps and reach failure again. So if you reach failure with, for 15 on the first set, the second time you try to you do the myo reps, you probably will get about four to five reps and then you reach failure again. And if you do the myo reps, you can actually do a lot more volume and eke out a little bit more gains using that method. So that would be something I'd be using as well as I would minimize rest periods overall throughout the whole workout. I mean, I would not rest more than a minute. And this is going to be hard. I mean, one thing that people don't realize is that this minimalist bare bone workout is gonna be much harder than the one that is for an hour and a half. I mean, of course, one hour and a half of training or two hours will beat you up, but this one is gonna be very, very intense. Like you have to jump in there, have to get it all, like you have to go all out, right? For each movement, you have to per do it with perfect technique, go very, very close to failure and to failure, which is going to result in a massive amount of fatigue. So don't be surprised if you end up being very, very sore, even just from training at 30 minutes, because that is essentially what you're trying to do. You're trying to disrupt homeostasis as much as you can in the shortest amount of time possible. And that's something I wanted to share with you guys here. I think this is a very important kind of plan B to have Again, um, you can design it the way you like based on your priority muscle groups. I mean, some people will like to work more than your shoulders. Some people will just like to do more than their bicep. That is totally up to you. But I wanted to give you a quick basic template, basically lower body push pull and then three isolation movements. Six movements, you can get that done in 30 minutes if you are really focused, as well as if you, if you kind of warm up uh, with, let's say using uh, more clothes on you so you get warmed up really fast. So then you can uh, start, as soon as you start sweating, you're kind of ready to go and that's how you can jump in and get that workout going hope you guys enjoyed hope you find this informative and let me know if you like this kind of video where i just put some raw workout footage and then at the same time do a little bit of voiceover this is a little bit of an older video it's actually really cool to watch because i hit almost all prs and like so much more compared to the workout that you're just watching which is really cool and i can't wait to share that with you guys i mean my squad went up 10 kilos compared to this video as well as all the other lifts. So that's pretty exciting as well that I'm gonna share with you guys. And um, happy gains, have a great time. As I said, hope you guys enjoyed. There's gonna be a little bit posing here as well. We'll show you guys the bicep. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button as well and talk to you soon. Peace.